Hey there stampers, Christy here from the Stamp Cycle and welcome to another video from my YouTube channel and blog. Today's card features making this rainbow wreath using a flower image from the 2017 Stamping Up Celebration catalog, the stamp set Avant Garden. So since making this card and filming this video, celebration has ended, so you're no longer able to get this stamp set. Um, you could have gotten this free with the $50 order, but you can make this same card and the same floral wreath by using the stamp sets that you have. So another stamp set that I thought you might could make this with is Special Reason. You have that floral image there, and it also has a coordinated die, so make it super easy to cut that out and make this wreath. And then you can also try making this wreath with an open floral image. It doesn't necessarily have to be like the solid image um, of a flower like, like I showed you there. But for today's card, we're just going to move along here and use the Avant Garden and um, make this wreath with that. So I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, um, and then I have a array of Stamping Up colors. I think in total I used about nine different colors for this wreath. And I'm using the, um, the solid floral image there. And because this is a photopolymer stamp, you want to use some cushioning behind your cardstock so that you get a really nice, solid image. So I use this um, Stampin' Pad from Stampin' Up. It works great with my photopolymer stamp sets. So I'm not going to bore you with um, making you, you know, watch this video in real time. So I've sped it up here and I'm going to get through all of the stamping. So like I said, in total, I think I used nine colors. So I started with Blushing Bride, went to Melon Mumbo, and I am cleaning my stamps in between each of these colors so that I don't get any color um, contamination. And then I moved on to Pumpkin Pie and then Daffodil Delight, Wild Wasabi for the green, and then the blues I used, Pool Party, Dapper Denim, and then um, Wisteria Wonder for the purple. So this is a pretty easy technique. Um, I'm really been into floral images lately, not floral images, but rainbow cards. And um, I just really love how all of these colors come together and they create a really bright and cheery card. So to add a little bit of interest to all of these floral images, I've got the stem part um, that comes in the stamp set, and I'm going to just use my Versamark pad, and I'm going to stamp um, the stem in the center of each of those flowers. I did treat my paper with anti-static tool because we will be heat embossing this in gold. And the embossing buddy helps to keep the embossing powder on only the stamped image so that you don't get stray embossing powder in places that you don't want it to. So now I'm just applying some gold embossing powder and then I'm going to hit that with my heat tool and melt all of this beautiful gold embossing powder. And then you get these um, gorgeous flowers with that beautiful gold embossed um, centers. So now the fun part begins. <laughs> um, I fussy cut out all of these flowers and the leaves. It actually went faster than you think it would. Um, you know, I don't mind fussy cutting. I just turn on some music and it's, and it's pretty therapeutic. So I just sat down and cut all of these out with my paper snips. And then you get all of these beautiful flower images and the little leaves all cut out. And then I'm going to add some interest to my background. So I have another piece of Whisper White cardstock here, and I've just smushed that smoke, that smoky slate ink pad that I used to stamp the leaves with onto this acrylic block, and I've added a ton of just some clean, clear water. And then I'm just going to flick that off the edge of that, clear, that block to give me some really great ink splatters. And then I've also got this um, Fintech um, set of, like, um, metallic watercolors, but I'm going to also add some gold flecks on. So now I'm going to work on the sentiment. I've got this birthday banner stamp set and a piece of vellum. I'm going to stamp the banner and the happy birthday onto this piece of vellum and again apply some of that gold embossing powder. I'll heat set that with my heat tool um, and then that sentiment will be ready to go. So I'm going to now cut out uh, the the background panel and the banner. I'm using some Simon Says Stamp stitched rectangles and then the coordinating banner die um, that goes with the stamp set. That's bunches of banners and that's the framelits that go with um, that stamp set that I showed you. So I'll walk over, run those through my big shot and then they'll be ready to go. 
And so now I'm just going to arrange all of these flowers that I cut that I fussy cut out into as as straight of a circle as I can. So I'll just arrange those onto my front panel here and just getting them you know, not facing the flowers in the same direction, turning them in different directions, and then just really kind of moving those around. I put my, my sentiment there just to see how that looked on top, and then I'll just keep arranging those until I get it into the, into the shape that I like. And then the cool thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a piece of press and seal, and I'm going to press this down onto all of these little floral cutouts, and it, and it then makes these floral cutouts one piece so you can then work with this entire wreath in one piece instead of having to mess around with all the different little individual pieces this makes it super super easy to glue this on to your card front to kind of move it around um, on your card front without having to then move each individual little uh flower. So I'm just going to add a combination of dimensionals on the back of these flowers and then just some Tombow glue. So some of these flowers will be popped up and then some of them will be um, adhered down to the panel. This kind of gives the, the wreath some interest with some um, popped up areas and some flat areas. So now I'll just pick that entire piece up with this piece of press and seal. Look how cool this is. You can move this around. You can I mean, you can, this press and seal makes it really easy to um, deal with a lot of die cuts at one time. So then I'll just press this whole wreath down onto my card front, and then I will carefully, carefully remove the press and seal. This is some pretty sticky stuff, so you want to take your time removing it so it doesn't um, rip your paper. And then once I have the wreath all situated, I'm just going to use some more of that Tombow uh, multi-purpose glue to just adhere the re the little leaves um, in around this leaf, around this leaf, the wreath. I really cannot talk this morning. I think I need some more coffee. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere this sentiment banner onto the front of my wreath. I'm using some Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue. This glue is great because it dyes clears, but because this is vellum, you want to make sure you're putting your glue right behind those embossed lines so that if the when the glue dries you you're not going to be able to see it behind um, all of that embossing so I'll just push this down to make sure it gets nice and adhere and then my wreath panel is done isn't that so pretty i just i just love how this turned out so now i've got a piece of fun foam fun foam gives even dimension behind panels. I do like foam dimensionals, but there is a lot of like squishy space in between, if that makes sense. So when I'm adhering a large panel like this, I do like to use just a piece of fun foam. And I just glue that onto the back of the panel and then onto a card front, just using some of that Tombow multi-purpose glue. So this is a top folding card base made out of thick Whisper White cardstock. And I'm just gonna adhere that panel with the fun foam backing directly into the center of this card base. And then the last thing I'm going to do to finish off this card is add some of these um, sparkling clear sequins from Pretty, Pretty Pink Posh. Uh, these just added a little bit of bling and just a little bit of interest to the card front. So, um, and I'm using my Ranger Multimedia Matte Glue for this because it does um, dry clear and matte and you can't see it if you get a little bit crazy. So that is the card for today. So like I said, look at your stash and see what floral images you have. You don't have to use this stamp set to create this card. I'm sure you have all kinds of floral images that you can use to make a rainbow wreath on your card. So thank you guys for joining me today. And if you have any questions, head on over to my blog at www.thestampcycle.com. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Until then, bye. bye.